This uh, question 41 is uh, based on hydrogen spectra and using the formula Rydberg's formula which you call. It says that if an electron in a hydrogen atom jumps from third orbit to second orbit, it emits a photon of wavelength lambda. So, I am using the Rydberg's formula 1 by lambda is equal to R z square and it is jumping from third to second. So, I will be writing it as 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square, is not it? This is the first equation you will be having. Now they are asking when it jumps from the fourth orbit to third orbit, then corresponding wavelength. Let us suppose that wavelength is lambda dash. So it is uh, jumping from fourth to third. So it will be 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square. So all you have to do, you have to just divide it, isn't it? So lambda dash, you have to calculate. So that dividing will give you the value 20 lambda by 7. So you will have to look for this kind of option. That is option 3. I will be marking answer 3 for this question number 41. Now let us switch over to next question that is uh, question 42. Now this uh, question 42 is based on the concept of uh, half life of radioactivity. It is a very straightforward question. It says that uh, half life is 30 minutes and uh, time taken between 40 percent decay and 85 percent decay. So, if it has decayed 40 percent, now what is left over? Left over is 60 percent, is not it? And now from here you have to switch over to 85 percent decay. If it is 85 percent decay, then what is left over? That is uh, 15 percent. Now, if you have to move from 60 percent to 15 percent left, left over thing, then after one half life, you will be reaching 30 percent, is not it? and another half life you will be reaching 15 percent. So, in total this question wants you to calculate the value of 2 half lives, time will be 2 half life, 2 half life, half life this is a symbolic representation t half, so 2 into what is the half life 30 minutes, so 2 into 30 minutes, so in total 60 minutes 1 hour whatever answer is there, they are asking you to calculate the answer in minutes 60 minutes. This will be the correct answer for it. Answer 4 will be the correct answer for question 42. Now, let us switch over to next question that is question 43. This uh, question 43 is based on uh, common emitter transistor amplifier circuit. For common emitter, the base happens to be the input side and the emitter happens to be the, uh, the collector happens to be the output side. So, this is uh, V is equal to IR, you have to use here V is equal to IR also used here. This is collector current, this is base current and ratio of collector current to base current as you know this is current amplification factor. So, it says that common emitter transistor amplifies the audio signal voltage across the collector resistance of 2 kilo ohm. So, this is given 2 kilo ohm and voltage is 4. So, you can calculate what is this current, collector current. This is V by R, is not it? V by R. So, this is 4 upon 2 kilo ohm. So, that makes it 2 milli ampere, right? 2 milli ampere is the output current. And this uh, current amplification factor is 100. So, if this base current is to be obtained, so this is 2 milli ampere divided by 100. So, that makes it 20 micro ampere. Isn't it? 20 micro ampere is the base current, input current. Resistance 1 kilo ohm has been given. This resistance 1 kilo ohm has been given. So, now they ask you what is the input signal voltage? This is what is required. So, I is 20 micro ampere multiplied by 1 kilo ohm. So, that will make it how much? This will make it 20 millivolt. So, the input voltage is 20 millivolt. This is your answer. So, if you look for 20 millivolt here, this is option number 2. So, answer I will be marking, answer will be 2 for this uh, question 43. Now, let us switch over to next question that is question 44. 